Question number 20. In the figure below, line AB is equals to 10 cm and is part of a trapezium ABCD. Point X is such that angle BX is equals to 45 degrees. So the angle is done, line AB and point X. Part A, using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, 1. Locate point D on line AX such that AD ratio DX is equals to 3 is to 1. So let us to begin by locating that point given the ratio. There is something that um, you're going to use in order to know the location of um, D. Uh, you're given line that is where we have uh, A and X is there. So given this ratio, AD DX is equals to 3 is to 1, there's something that you're going to notice. And uh, looking at these, uh, you'll note that D is dividing line AX internally. Why do you know that? Uh, by just looking at the position of A and X. And uh, also, if you want to get AD given this ratio, AD will be given by 3 over total is real plus 1, 3 quarters of AX. And then DX, DX, DX will be given by a quarter looking at this ratio of AX. That is how you notice that this point D divides this line into four equal parts so you have to divide it into two first in order to divide it into four equal parts first by set the line ax and then since you're interested with point d uh, looking at this ratio here uh, there is to one ad is three quarters ax three quarters you have again to bisect the other half there and then you have these so these are four one two three four four equal parts so AD is 3 quarters. 3 quarters is 1, 2, 3. So D will be somewhere there. So now looking at this, uh, you'll be able to locate, looking at this ratio, to locate point D. So to get D, you need to divide line AX into two parts, that is bisect it, then again bisect the upper half, and that is when you obtain D. So that is what you're going to do. So let us do that. So to bisect AX, stand here, the pair of compass, make sure you open it uh, for more than uh, that line, then uh, mark an arc there, and another arc, then uh, with the same radius, we're changing it, stand that point, then cut that arc, and cut that arc, then join the point of intersection of the two arcs using a straight line join it using a straight line and uh, this is what you get that is what you get I have not done it perfectly we do it in a better way show that the line passes in the center Point of intersection of those two words. So that is how it's supposed to do it. So divide it into two, then the other half. Also bisect the other half by standing there, opening it more than half of that line. And then uh, mark an arc there. Mark an arc there. Then the same same radius. They're changing it. Cut that arc. And cut the other arc so when you bisect that half so that is how you get it so this will be Point D this is point D. So start by bisecting this line. We bisect the line. Then the upper half again. You bisect it. And uh, when you bisect the upper half, you locate your point D there. So you've located it. Uh, then part two of the question: uh, complete the trapezium. ABCD such that line DC is parallel to 
AB and angle ABC is equals to 67.5 degrees. So the point here, well, the point of concern is uh, ABC, angle ABC should be here and it should be on the left hand side. Uh, so how do we construct 67.5 degrees? Now to construct 67 and a half degrees, again I'm going to demonstrate how we do it. Uh, you have point B here, so you have to construct 90 degrees first. Then after you construct 90 degrees, you bisect it, bisect the other side on the right hand side, you get 45. So the whole of this angle that remains here will be 135. And uh, 135, when you bisect it again, that is when you get 67.5 degrees. So you construct 90 degrees first, then 45. Then the other one that remains is 135. So bisect the other side. That is uh, that is how you're going to bisect it. And you get this one is uh, 67 and a half degrees. So that is what you're going to do. So we'll begin by extending. Or we'll extend this line. Let me extend the line so that I may construct 90 degrees. So to construct 90 degrees, of course, you stand there, you mark an arc, another arc. So mark this arc, the other arc there. Then standing on this arc, mark an arc there, in the same same radius. We're changing it at that arc. So from here. That is how you get 90 degrees. So that is 90. Then you bisect. You bisect uh, 90. So you stand here, bisect it, mark an arc there, and uh, another arc there. So this is how you bisect. So by marking, marking, standing here, repeat it again. So this is a Mark an arc there, another one there. Then starting here, you mark an arc there, and then you cut that arc. So that is how you bisect it. So by we started by marking this arc, marking that arc, then this arc. Then standing on this arc, we've made that arc there. Then the same radius, that arc. So this will be 90, 90 divided by 2, this will be 45. So that is how you get it. So this will be 45 degrees. Now when you bisect the whole of the other angle that is remaining, we will have 67 and a half. So to bisect it again, you stand there, you mark an arc, and then on the other side, you mark an arc. Then stand on this arc that you made here, mark an arc there, then on this, mark an arc there. So when you join, should be now 67 and a half degrees now after doing that um, so we have constructed 90 degrees then 45 on the other side then we bisected the other one 135 to get 67 and a half after doing that we need now to complete the trapezium a b c d a b so c is supposed to be somewhere here 
than the year. So you know the property of parallel lines that you given any two parallel lines, the distance between the two parallel lines is supposed to be constant. So meaning that uh, this distance here, this distance here, you need to take this distance because C is supposed to be somewhere here. So that distance is supposed to be the same or constant. So to get that distance, I will stand here and I will drop a perpendicular. So mark that up, mark, mark that line B. So we are dropping perpendicular from D to AB. It is a part of uh, uh, the question part three, but I'm using the same part in order to draw to locate point C. So standing at D, mark an arc on that line and the arc, then again standing here on this arc that you've made here, mark an arc and then uh, the same radius without changing it, stand there and mark an arc. So then I join this point of intersection of these arcs. like that so this will be a perpendicular from point D to line AB what I am interested in is this uh, distance here this is the distance that I'm interested in um, because uh, when you're given two parallel lines the distance between them is supposed to be constant so when you take that distance and then I transfer it here using this line that I used to construct 90 degrees, I mark, I mark, because the C is supposed to pass through there. Although it is not part of the lines of the trapezium, but it's going to help. So when I draw a line like that, passing through this point, you will notice that C will now be here. C will be located here. This is where we have C. And uh, since I've taken this distance, this distance, this distance between DC and AB should be the same. This one, when you look at it, you can see. You can see that distance. This distance here. This distance should be the same such that uh, this line is parallel to that so that is how you locate point C and ensuring that DC is parallel to AB I've used uh, this distance yeah and um, the line that I've used to get that C is this line I used to construct 90 degrees now you notice after doing that I have already uh, answered another question on part C these are part 3 draw a perpendicular line from A, from D to meet A, B at E so that line is the one that is here so how did I drop this I stood here with a pair of compass then I made this arc on this line these two arcs this arc and this arc then standing on this arc I constructed that arc then standing on the other arc in the same radius and this so this is how it dropped the perpendicular and um, now this is a point E this is a point E we need to measure DE so we need to measure DE so D E so can use a ruler to do that So that is a 4, it is a, you can see it is around 4, let me take it uh, using, we take that measurement using a pair of compass, around 4, 4.1, giving 4.1, so we'll take that distance there, this is the distance you take using a, and you transfer it here 
speed it is uh, it is uh, around 4.1 4.1 so de de is equals to 4.1 centimeters then calculate the area of the trapezium how do you calculate the area of trapezium a b c d so area of trapezium is given by a half times the sum of the two parallel side times the height so we just uh, use this formula half times the sum of the two parallel sides you just need to measure them uh, one side is a b uh, one side is a b and a b is here a b is here it is 10 a b is 10 then the other one is a dc the other parallel side is dc and uh, when you look at DC, DC will be 4.1. DC will be 4.1. 4.1. Then times the height. The height is uh, perpendicular height is this DE. DE is the perpendicular height which you got as uh, 4.1. So this will give using a calculator will be a half times this will be 14.1 times 4.1. So we multiply this using a calculator. So 14.1 times 4.1 goes to divide by 2 will get 28.9 28.91 centimeters squared that is the area of the trapezium that is how you're supposed to solve that question